Hey everyone, it's Mari from Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating a really sweet little baby themed card today. I'm going to be using the Rockabye Baby die set. This is just a really great set. You will also receive this instructional card or card that just shows you how things layer up with these dies. And I just love this set so much, it's so sweet. I also use the Daisy Field Embossing Folder and the Sweet Stacks Rectangles to create this white rectangle to add some detail and texture to the background for my project today. I really love that embossing, I think it's beautiful. I also used our Scallop A2 Frames dies to create this really pretty, delicate, scalloped card front for my project as well. Now I'm going to start off here with my A2 size top folding card base and I'm going to adhere my scallop base to that card front and so you'll just see me here adding some liquid adhesive onto that. I'll add that onto the card base and then I'll go ahead and add the embossed piece into that stitched rectangle area there on the card front and that's just going to add like I said a really pretty texture and then the layer of that scallop border behind that I just think it's really pretty really soft and it goes so nicely with the theme of the project which is definitely just really soft and sweet so I'm just going to give that a good press and make sure that's adhered. Now I took a variety of different card stocks from my stash to die cut out all of these pieces from the Rockabye Baby set. And I just really wanted to kind of go along with the sort of a peachy colored theme. So I went with some darker and lighter peaches for the little bassinet. You can just see how easily that fits together with those die cut pieces. Now I also used some patterned paper from Honey Bee. This is the Adorable Spring Lullaby Pattern Paper Pad. This is a six by six pad. I used a bunch of different paper pads and I will um, link up to those and list them in the description box below. If you are not aware, Honey Bee has the best patterned paper pads for creating different elements for your projects. And I love die cutting the pattern paper for things like this, for these little accent pieces. I think it's just perfect. And so you can see those sweet little hearts on that little blanket over the edge of the bassinet. I die cut the sweet little bunny out of some gray cardstock. And I'm just adding some little details to the eye, for example, with a fine uh, dark pen, just a black pen there. And I did a little bit of Copic coloring to the little nose area. And I'm just going to fit the bunny into the bassinet there and just have that off to the side as the little lovey for the sweet little baby that will be um, enjoying this bassinet. The one die from the Rockabye Baby set also die cuts out that little carpet and then the sweet little um, piece uh, that goes over top of the, the bassinet as well. I just love that. And you can see that I've used a pattern paper for some of these different pieces and cardstock for others. The sweet little mobile there is cut from some gold cardstock. And then I used again some of the honeybee pattern papers for this little horsey that's part of the Rockabye Baby die set as well. So really easy to, to put these different little elements together and it just, they create the most adorable little details for this project. So you can see the horsey even just has like this little rope on it as well that you can adhere on. And I just used a bunch of different coordinating card stock. So you've used a little bit of craft here for that rope, which coordinates with the craft that I used for the little carpet. Now here's that little blanket that's gonna go onto the back of the little hobby horse here. And you can just see that I've used some uh, coordinating pattern paper from Honey Bee as well for this little piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue all of these little detailed pieces together, in this case onto that sweet little horse. And again, I'm going to take a fine line black marker. This happens to be a Copic fine liner, and I'll just add some little details um, that are embossed there. So that little line where the eye is is actually embossed by the die. And so super easy to add those little details in. This is another little die cut that was created by the dies from Rockabye Baby. I'm going to just take a little bit of craft paper and add that as a center to the light peach base for this little uh, picture that's going to be hanging on the wall there. I did use a die from the cookie sheet die set. It's a little heart and I'm going to be embellishing this little picture frame with the heart as well. And these little pieces that I'm adding here in gold are die cut using the dies from Rockabye Baby again. 
and I'm just going to add those little bits to embellish this and give this just a little bit more detail. That gold is going to coordinate with the car cardstock that I used for the mobile above the bassinet. So I'll just go ahead and add some liquid adhesive to those little pieces and make sure that those are adhered on. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start to think about creating this little scene where I want to place things. And of course, I'm thinking about where the sentiment is going to go on the front of the card as well as I'm laying this design out and trying to figure out where I want all of these pieces to go. I just have one last little piece to add on to this little piece here. And so just cut that from some darker uh, peach colored cardstock to coordinate with that pattern paper. Now I can start to assemble things here. Um, you can see that I <laughs> stopped recording this video and this is probably a couple days later because I now have some nail polish on and have put a sweater on. And so yeah, oftentimes I don't videotape my, or record my videos all in one sitting. They sometimes do get recorded over the course of a few days. So I've cut out that and stamped out that sentiment from the really adorable Inside Welcome Baby Sentiment set, which is a really great set if you are going to be making some baby cards. And I did want to just use that really simple Welcome Little One sentiment at the bottom. And now I can just start to think about adding the different elements over uh, or above where the sentiment's going to go. Now the little carpet I did want over to the right a little bit rather than being centered because I'm thinking about where I'm going to put that little hobby horse in conjunction to the bassinet and the other elements that are going to be part of this scene. So I did decide to put that over to the right a little bit and then the bassinet will just be centered on that little carpet in that way just using my liquid adhesive to adhere these different pieces together. I just love how this comes together. It's such a sweet little scene when it's finished. This is a, just an adorable die set. If you haven't added this to your stash, uh, I definitely recommend it. It is really a staple for making baby cards. It does come together quite quickly because things are die cut. You can just die cut them from whatever colors of cardstock or pattern paper you choose. And it does really make this project come together quite quickly. I didn't do any ink, ink blending on the different paper pieces. You could definitely do that as well but I chose not to for this particular project. So now you can just see, I've used a little bit of um, dimensional foam adhesive on some of these pieces here to add a little bit more dimension to them and just to make them, make them pop up a little bit on the project. You can add that sweet little hobby horse off to the side and you, now you can just see this really sweet little baby nursery coming together here. It's so adorable and sweet. And if you want to customize the color to, um, you know, if you want to use more traditional baby boy or girl colors, etc., this is so great because this die, the dyes in this set will allow you to obviously customize this to whatever colors you want to use for the recipient. So I'm going to add just a little bit of foam adhesive onto that welcome little one sentiment there just to give that a little bit of dimension as well. And now I am almost finished. I think I want to add some pearl stickers to this as well. So I take the Pacific Northwest Pearl sticker set and I'm going to just use some of these little pearls that are kind of a peachy color in the center of a couple of these little areas here just to make them look like there's sort of just a little finishing piece um, holding those together. And I'll just add another one to the picture there as well. And that's going to finish up my project today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were inspired. And I did link up to all of the different products that I've used from Honeybee in the information box, the description box below. Have an amazing day, friends. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Stay well. Bye-bye.